Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and welcome to your first weekly horoscope of the brand new year, 2018. And guess what? We've got a winner. We've got to give away some stuff, right? The winner of these absolutely brilliant natural hair cards by my friend, Miss Ida Feze, is going to be Nietzsche B. So congratulations to you. Make sure you get back to me so I can get those sent out to you. Now, we are not without a gift this week, and this week it was so fun to put together what the giveaway was going to be because we've got all of this beautiful cancer energy that we're starting out the week with. So it was easy to choose this one this week. I've got a beautiful friend, Miss Lori, who does hand-blown glass jewelry. I hope I'm doing this justice by showing it to you guys. I don't think that I am, but oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's the big piece. And she does all of this herself. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. So in this set that you have the opportunity to win this week, <laughs> you have the opportunity to win a set of three. Now, the idea about this that was so beautiful with this beginning cancer energy that we've got is that the big one in the middle was the symbol of the mother or the parent or the grounding energy, and then the children to the side of it with the two smaller pieces. Now, you can break that up however you want, but what a gorgeous set as well. I will be adding from my personal collection, clean, charged, ready to get to you, this beautiful piece of blue lapis lazuli, which is, which is phenomenal for grounding, for comfort, for erasing confusion, and for helping to align with the cosmos. So this week's giveaway is that four item pack I look forward to giving to one of you guys. All you have to do is like, comment, and share this video this week, and then you will be in the running to be chosen for the giveaway. And I've got giveaways for you guys all year long. So mm, how about that set of excitement? As well, coming for 2018, you guys, I hope you have gotten your spot already for $3 Thursdays, which will be happening the entire year. The third Thursday of every month, I'm going to be doing a live private teaching session talking about different astrological concepts. It's a much more intimate space so you can ask questions, right? Get feedback and also learn. Now the space is limited, but $3 Thursday, seriously, jump in, buy in, and I hope to see you in those private teaching sessions. The one we'll be talking about in January is business timing, business astrology. So if you're looking to start a new business, quit a job, sell something, buy something, this is going to be a beautiful talk and I hope to see you there. The link's in the description box down below. All right, let's jump in and talk about this week, January 1st through the 7th. Now, one of the things we need to note, if you're new to the channel, not new to the channel, just didn't know this information, but in astrology, we don't actually start our new year on January 1st. This is a wonderful calendar year that we've started, and actually Julius Caesar came up with this beautiful calendar year that we start the new year here. He did that for himself, imagine. <laughs> But in astrology, we actually start our new year in March. And in some cultures and in some places, depending on what you're looking at, some are not starting their new year until July. So it's actually very, very interesting. But for the hay of it, we're going to be pumped. It's a new calendar year and we've got some stuff to get done. So as we are beginning this week, the first day, the very first day of 2018 starts off on kind of an emotional but nurturing energy because we've got this full moon happening in Cancer. This is reminding us to first and foremost go, hey, am I nurtured? Am I secure? Am I taking care of myself? What about my roots, my foundation? Is my house clean? Do I need to get rid of stuff, right? It asks all of these questions. Now, this moon is not only a full moon, but it is a super moon, and it is a super full moon. And so what this means is that when it's a super moon, whenever you hear super moon, it means that this planet, this energy is closest to Earth that it's going to be, right? Like the tra trajectory that it's taking is close to Earth. So what this means is for us is that one, it looks a lot bigger and it looks a lot brighter. So here we are having this moon, this emotional energy, and it's a full moon, this ending energy, bringing culmination, saying something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, and it's bigger and it's brighter. So we, of course, get to reap the intensity of it. Now, not only is this a super moon happening in Canada, Answer, but alongside of this, we have got a grand water trine. Oh my goodness. So th what that means is that the moon is also graced by two other water energies. We've got Neptune over here and another from Mars who's over in Scorpio. So 
this is going to energize this moon, right? This is going to put us in a potential situation where our emotions are in an upheaval, our emotions are high, our emotions may be running the show a little bit, and you do need to pay attention to that. But where you can use that is to say, here I am at the beginning of the year. Do I feel safe, sane, protected, nurtured, and secure? And if the answer to those things that you find out is no, we've got some work to do, right? which is just fine because the energy is gonna take a shift right here on the second when we see Uranus, who's been retrograde for a whole handful of months, he's going to come out of retrograde and come direct. How amazing is that? Now Uranus, when he is retrograde, right? We have this sense of energy where it's, I'm not feeling inspired, I'm not feeling new ideas, um, I'm feeling like I need to look at my past differently, and that's beautiful, right? There's some psychological and spiritual things that come up when Uranus is retrograde, but now he's coming direct and it's like it pops us. It pops us out of the rut that we're in, right? Now, of course, with any planet coming out of retrograde, keep this in mind all year long, as long as you study. Any planet coming out of retrograde needs a little bit of time to get fully turned back around and resume its orbit so we can really have the benefit of its energy. But Uranus turning direct gives us this subtle, forward movement where we may actually become inspired, have innovative ideas, be ready to um, break down the barriers that we've created for ourselves. Say, yes, I'm willing to change the direction of something that I'm doing. Yes, I don't need to live in this box anymore. It's okay for me to expand, right? I also think too, do not forget that Uranus, because he does come to break down these structures, he's very rebellious. It's a very rebellious energy. So the inner rebel in you that's been holding back, it may be time to let that fire go, right? And these emotions may put you in a position with the full moon firing up where you're like, I can't, I just can't do this anymore. And you have this rebel moment and you get started on the thing you've been holding back. You're all the better for it. Now, what you have to keep in mind is while this wake up call may be great for you as we continue to go through them the rest of the week you don't want to have so much emotion so much rubble that you actually wreck everything around you and then you look back weeks later and you go oh i was so extra i did too much now i will tell you if you're looking for a great day to make some big changes, make any kind of changes, have a nice power behind you while you're doing it, right here on Saturday, January 6th, it looks like we've got Mars who's over here in Scorpio. Oh, it's gonna combine with this beautiful energy here of Jupiter. This is luck and opportunity meets movement, right? This is wonderful energy. So this conjunction um, creates opportunity. And maybe even it's an opportunity that needs to be handled right now, but keep in mind you have all of this Uranian energy that's going to be firing through. So you do need to handle it a bit responsibly. Um, be fast, be fierce, be vicious, go get it, right? Just be savage, but not too savage. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, go get it. If you wanna be savage, be like, I need to go get this. Be accountable, I think is a good word there. And then move yourself forward to these new adventures. Now, I think if you keep this in mind, as you travel through this week, you can actually create a beautiful new beginning because what some of these energies will put you in position from Cancer to Uranus to this grand water trine is that you may need to do you a little bit and what does that look like without compromising the space, place, and relationships around you unless they are dead, unhealthy, and need to get out of here. I think it's going to be a really beautiful week. Get signed up for $3 Thursdays. It's an awesome opportunity for us to study together. Like, comment, share this video so you can get into the running. And like, comment, and share this video because I love to hear from you. We've got a whole nother year to do together. And dang it, I'm pretty pumped and excited. I love you guys all. Thank you for the support. And I will see you next week.